Uh, this glass of water has never tasted more delicious in my life. And I don't know why. For some reason, I'm ferociously thirsty right now. But damn, that's some good water. We're here to talk about crispy smashed potatoes with walnut dressing. It's actually called a walnut dressing in the recipe title, which I don't think does it justice. It's chopped up walnuts that get fried in olive oil with a bunch of anchovies, and then they get tossed with garlic, and then golden raisins and chili flakes get all mixed in. So it's crunchy, it's briny, umami, sweet, spicy, and that whole thing gets drizzled over crispy potatoes on top of sour cream. What's not to love? Wow, are you so excited? <laughs> okay, so the thing about these potatoes is they're getting cooked two ways. First, they'll be simmered on the stovetop in heavily salted water, and then they'll get drained and cooked in the oven at high heat at 450 so that they draw out all the moisture and crisp up. You could use any size Yukon Gold potatoes. The cook time will differ, so you keep an eye on them. But I have two pounds here. Uh, Yukon Golds dry out really nicely and achieve that nice, crisp, exterior but all the while maintain a really creamy interior and it's that contrast that you're really gonna love so I'm covering these with about three to four quarts of water cold water and then I know you're gonna hate this but I'm gonna put one cup of salt in here an entire cup an entire cup yeah it's a lot one cup but if you think about how much of the salt is going to get left behind in the water when we drain it off, it's really not that much. So I'm going to bring this up over medium-high heat, and when it comes up to a simmer, I'll reduce it down, and we'll maintain a simmer until they're just fork tender. So it has been about 15 minutes of simmering, and as you can see, they are fork tender. So I'm going to drain these now. Oh, that was almost so bad. All right. I spilled a little boiling water on my body. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave these in here just a couple of minutes. Um, they are going to let off some of their steam and all of that excess moisture. If we give them a chance to do that, there's a better chance that they'll get nice and crispy. So just a couple of minutes here. So here is a cool... Smashy McSmasherson technique where you put all of the potatoes on one tray and then you take another tray and you put it on top and you push down and you got smashed potatoes. So now I'm going to drizzle one third of a cup of olive oil over these which is quite a bit of olive oil but you want to make sure that all of the little nooks and crannies get coated in the oil. So, oops, it's okay if some of them break apart um, as you flip them and make sure they're all coated. And then seasoning them again with salt. It doesn't have to be super, super generous this time because we did get a lot of seasoning in there as we cooked them. And some black pep. And then into a 450 degree oven. And those will cook there for 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is, so keep an eye on things. So that dressing that I was talking about starts with a half a cup of coarsely chopped walnuts. The main objective here is to make sure that they're all chopped about the same size so that they cook evenly in the olive oil. If they're all sorts of different sizes, the little ones will burn first, so that's kind of what you're after. The remaining one third of a cup of olive oil goes into this small saucepan with all my walnuts and two anchovy fillets or teas, man. Really pulling through with the chovy fork. Not all anchovy jars come with a chovy fork. A chork. So two um, oil-packed anchovy fillets going in right here. And you don't need to chop them up because by the time this all gets cooked out and nice and toasty, the anchovies will fry and they'll sort of just disintegrate into the oil. I don't think that this is a very chovy forward dish. So if you're just a little wary of them but not totally sure, I would go for it because there's only two of them. 
in a whole slew of other things happening. Um, and it really just gives it this awesome background umami note. It's not that it's fishy. So just give it a try. Okay. This is the burner that ticks. And this is the burner that does not tick. Okay, so medium low heat, just stirring to combine it all. We just gotta be patient here. I mean, nothing's happening in this pot right now, let's be honest. Momentito. The end goal here is a sauce pot full of deeply golden brown toasted walnuts and no visible evidence of full anchovy fillets, but just an awareness of the fact that they have fried out in the oil and have dispersed throughout it all. It'll take five, six, seven minutes. Can you close up on my necklace? It says tuna. That's my dog. Okay, so back to the pot. Um, these have been toasting for, I would say, three minutes. And as you can see, the anchovies are nowhere to be found because they have dispersed and they're just frying out in the oil um, and creating this really delicious depth of flavor here. So I'm gonna keep toasting these a couple minutes longer. I really like a very well toasted nut, something you should know about me. Um, and these are still pretty blonde, so take them further. Now they're getting nice and, and dark. So I'm gonna pull them off the heat here and stop the cooking by pouring them into a bowl. Back to the counter. Um, okay, so this is very hot, so just be careful when you're transferring. But getting them out of the hot pan if they feel like they're getting too dark is a great way to halt the cooking. And then I have one garlic clove here. While everything is still super hot in here, I'm going to grate right into this bowl. And the heat, the residual heat from the oil is going to cook the garlic because it's so finely grated and just mellow out that raw flavor. Hear it sizzle. That's so cool. Do you hear it sizzle? Do you see it sizzle? That's the, I'm oh, looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Very cool sizzle. Can you hear the sizzle? Just drop it in. I want to get a shot of it just like all the way in there. Yeah. My mic? No, another boom, sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of tablespoons of golden raisins here, which in the heat of this oil are also gonna kind of plump up. Okay, and then four teaspoons of Aleppo pepper, which is a very mild chili flake, which is why you can use so much. If you don't have Aleppo pepper and you only have red chili flake, definitely hold back. I would probably say start with a half a teaspoon of just regular Italian pepperoncino chili flake. Um, but also, it's a great time to invest in Aleppo, one of the great dried chilies of the world. I'm going to let this cool just a little bit before I taste it, and then I'll season it with salt as it needs. In the meantime, let's check on the potatoes. All right, let's check on the potatoes, which are looking super delish. They have all the nooks and crannies feel like they got nice and golden brown and crisp, but you can tell there's still some fleshy, fluffy yellow interior there and they're not totally cooked through so i'm gonna call it on those seasoning this with a little bit of salt now man i love that sauce oh man so since there are a lot of pretty intense flavors over here the garlic the walnuts the chilies the anchovies I think it's really nice to mellow all that out with sour cream. Um, also, sour cream and potatoes, a natural pairing. So I'm just going to cover the bottom of my serving platter with some swooshes of sour cream so that every potato gets a little bit of love. So now these guys just get arranged over top. This is a great entertaining dish because you can do the boiling and the smashing in advance and then just throw them in the oven, you know, for the last like 30, 40 minutes before serving. You can also make the walnut sauce in advance. The sour cream made itself, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. I'm just gonna spoon this over. And, you know, there's a lot of flavor in the oil that is left behind here. So 
feel free to just drizzle that kind of all over it as well and let it pool in some of those areas. It'll mix with the sour cream and do some magical things. And then lastly, whatever herbs you have on hand, add a nice kind of fresh element since there's so many roasty toasty flavors happening. Um, I have dill and parsley that I'm gonna use today. But yeah, literally anything would be great. It also makes it more beautiful. And then to brighten it all up, a couple of lemon wedges. And that's it, folks. Crispy smashed potatoes with walnut dressing. Where's my perfect potato? Can you hear the crack? Do you want me to do this thing again? Or should we just bring in the boom? Oh look, Alex Delaney and Ari, 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 Alex Delaney and Andy Bergani are both here, my lucky day. Don't. Like, I was just on the street and there was the spider sense tingling and I was like. You were like. 35th floor, now. Crispy smashed potatoes, now. I can't remember what I'm making myself a bite, so I hope you don't think I'm making this right, for you. I'm gonna go out. I need a fork. You gotta get yourself a fork. Oh, there's one right here. A little pop of sweet. Little you know sweet. what I mean? Little Amongst all the in. savory. Yeah. I'm just here for it, you guys. Just the texture alone. I don't know. So much for plates. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do a little hand action. I will say this. Mm. There have been three people doing videos today. I feel like this is about to be really good. <laughs> There'll be four dishes. One of them made two different preparations. This is by far the best thing. You heard it here first. Those other people. By far the best. Those other people who are like. They, <laughs> guess who they are. So good. Love the heat. Love the heat. Dry chilies. Love the heat. <laughs> love the love heat. Love, love the heat. Um, Just range of texture. Yeah, so Creaminess. many textures. And then you got like the in-between creamy and crunchy of the potato. And then, and then the you got the real herbs. crunchy and then the leafy herb. What oh. don't you have? You have it all. The you got it yours. all. I love them. I will eat these tonight after putting them in a to-go container, storing them in the fridge so that they sog out. And then I won't be able to recrisp them because there's all this sour cream and everything, so I'm just going to eat them soggy. That's how much I love them. Bye. Have a good party. Thank you. How um... I mean, it's <laughs> chaos in here today. Absolute chaos.